Hey guys, we're going to talk about factors now. So a factor is a number that can go into uh, another number an even number of times. So let's say we want to find out the uh, factors for 10. Well, we just start with, first of all, 1 can go into 10, 10 times. So straight away, 1 is a factor and 1 can pretty much go into uh, any number above 1 and above. So the way we'd like you to write it out is to at least write uh, all of the factors, but also uh, it can help to show um, what you need to times that by, like how many ones go into 10. So basically we're talking about times table again. So 1 is a factor because it goes into 10 10 times. And therefore 10 is a factor because 10 goes into 10 one time. So we've already found two factors for 10. Now you can systematically go through uh, all the numbers and figure them out if they're a factor or not. For example, the next number is 2. Uh, we've already covered 1. 2 goes into 10 an even amount of times. Uh, it goes in there 5 times. So 2 is a factor of 10. So 2 times 5. And straight away we know then that 5 must be a factor because 5 goes into 10 2 times. So 5 is a factor of 10. We'll come up with 4 factors so far. We can keep going now. So 3. Well, 3 does go into 10 3 times, but there is one left over, and that's not an even multiple. So 3 is not a factor of 10. Nor is 4, and nor is 6, nor is 7. And once you get over halfway, you can pretty much tell that it's not going to be a factor, because 7 is always going to have a remainder, as is 8, as is 9. Uh, and any number over 10, of course, is not a factor either, such as 11 or 12. It doesn't go into 10 evenly, so we don't need to worry about all of those uh, over 10. So we've found four factors, and I did that systematically by going from 1 uh, all the way up to 10 um, and stopping when I found out, like, for example, 1 is, is a factor because it goes in 10 times, so straight away I know that 10 is a factor. That's just one way of doing it. So let's go down to 12 then. So straight away I know that 1's a factor, because 1's a factor of all numbers that are 1 or above, and therefore we know 12's a factor. 12 and 1. 2 is a factor, it goes into 12 evenly. 2 goes into 12 6 times. Therefore, 6 is a factor. Goes in 2 times. We found 4 already. Move to 3. Yes, I know my times table is 3 times 4 equals 12. So 3 is a factor and therefore 4 is also a factor. And we get to 5. It doesn't go in there evenly. We've already covered 6 and now we're over halfway. Uh, 6 is half of 12 so we know now that 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 are not factors of 12. So we've found 6 factors. Uh, on your assessments and tests, it might be good to indicate what the factors are, but I think it really helps to show that you know how many times it goes in there as well to beef up your understanding. And that's what factors are.